The Gospel of the Word. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel reading today, we heard our Lord Jesus Christ made a response which is a little bit unconventional, which is doesn't show of his uh, love or care for his blood family. When someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in the reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. We may understand in such a way that uh, the saying, blood thicker than water, seem may not apply in this context in the response of Jesus. For he said, my mother and my brothers are those who do the will of my heavenly father. In which my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ may not have the intention to let his family, his blood family, to feel that they are not cared or they're not uh, loved. But here, our Lord Jesus Christ was so true enough for his very mission. And this is to do the will of his heavenly father. In which it's bring us to a greater consciousness and awareness that we hold too much onto relationships. We hold too much to our um, human relationships. And sometimes we build too much uh, a relationship with our blood family ties. And at times we are being compromised. And the will of the Father is in fact being compromised. It brings us to a higher level of consciousness that each one of us must align with his mind to what we call we we should being led to for a higher purpose and reason oftentimes we hear this when a young man leaves his family to respond to a certain call to the priesthood or a young lady who responded to the call of a religious life. It is turning away from your blood family and detaching yourselves from your own family. For in fact, it's true. If you don't turn away and if you don't uh, be inspired by the very words of Jesus today, then it may be difficult to respond to the call of mission and to the call of service to Christ. In which, it brings us to realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that a greater value and higher reason of responding to the very mission and call of Jesus is this, that we don't do the will of our biological family or blood family, but we do the will of the Heavenly Father. We do the will of God, in which it has a deeper meaning, in which we are supposed to be focused to the very mission in which we are being called to and trusted to us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are being called to 
to respond to this call of discipleship, we are once again reminded every day of our life to look towards and look forward to and that our mind, our intentions, our desire must be geared toward to what is heavenly and that is to God. And that includes our total response to the very will of God to us. And that is truly enough when Jesus said, here are my brother, here is my mother, are those who do the will of my heavenly Father. Truly enough, my dear brothers and sisters, that our call in this life is towards to God, the Father who calls us, and that is we continuously respond for the building up of God's kingdom here on earth. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is not telling us that he has doesn't have a heart of love for his family. He has. In fact, family is so close to his heart, the very first miracle was actually the context of a family, and that was at the wedding of Cana. His heart is too close for his brothers, but we are being reminded today that the most important is our response to the very call of God to us, and that is that we are able to deny ourselves and detach ourselves from worldly allurements and detachments, especially to our blood family. It's true, we cannot actually focus if we allowed ourselves to be distracted by these worldly things and even our attachments to our human family. Because we have to look forward that we enjoy not our blood family, but of the family of God, of His kingdom, where we will be brothers and sisters of the Lord in heaven. Amen. Please stand.